and welcome to this video. I'd like to go over how to uh, work with some of the appearances in Blender as well as create some meshes. And uh, first off, I'd like to import another model that will supplement the scene. I'll import an STL and I'll make this a soup bowl. And like the bottle, I'll simply use my S key to scale it down. I can move it off to the side here. Um, so in Blender, um, of course, as we went over, I can uh, add another view and go to my camera view with the zero key and say rendered so I can update my views on the fly. Uh, and I can change to cycles render as that's probably the best for importing and exporting uh, things when you're dealing with things like FreeCAD and SolidWorks. As I update my view, you'll see that there are, we're looking at something that's very boring, very gray, very uneventful. And I want to add some character to that. I want to say perhaps that these uh, things are, are sitting on something, you know, there's a, there's a scene going on. So one of the things that I can do is create a mesh or a plane so that it looks like they're sitting on a surface. They're not just floating in a gray area. And I can do that by clicking on the Create button and choosing Plane or putting and shift A and choosing plane from the mesh menu. With this new plane, just like any other object, I can scale this with the S key and we'll scale it quite large so that it fills up our whole scene. And I can move this plane up until it appears that these objects are sitting on a plane or a surface. And now you can see their shadows quite clearly. The other thing is everything is gray and that can be quite boring. <clears throat> so we need to be able to tell uh, Blender what these things are made out of and what kind of textures we want to apply. So when, we, when we're giving uh, materials to these objects, I can come to my right menu with something selected. I'll select my soup bowl and choose material over here. <clears throat> And notice I'm doing this in Cycles Render. It is very different when you do this in Blender Render. So be, make sure you're on Cycles. I'll choose New Material, meaning we're giving a new material to the bowl. And notice it defaults to uh, Diffuse. <coughs> diffuse is a texture where there is not very much reflectivity going on. So I can adjust this uh, by choosing any of these. Now, a lot of these. Um, textures and materials are for art like when you import a part from SOLIDWORKS it's very unlikely for instance you would want to uh, give it a hair texture but we have hair right here so we, we can give it a few things um, if if diffuse is not very exciting glossy is a pretty popular one notice when I select that the bowl appears to be more metallic or mirror like and we have certain um, options within Glossy that we can choose, like Sharp. It doesn't look very different when I change this around because we don't have a lot happening in our scene, but these will look very different in, in different scenes as we go on to add more details. So Glossy is very mirror-like. Uh, likewise, I can choose something like uh, Glass, and you can see the bowl becomes a little bit more transparent. Of course, um, Instead of a glass bowl, we would probably want something um, more like diffuse. However, uh, there's a few other options like emission. Notice now the bowl is giving off light. Uh, emission is when you want something glowing in your scene. And you can see even the light is reflected on the bottle over here. So let's uh, perhaps go with um, glossy and you can adjust the surface roughness. Notice if I take the surface roughness down to zero, it's like an absolute uh, reflection. And if I make this sharp, we'd be even more reflective. So let's go with GCX and I'll give it this a surface roughness of 0.4. And we have a little bit more of a realistic looking bowl over here. And you can see the way that it becomes lighter over here interacting with this light that we have. And if I move this light around, you can see the shadows and the light spot on the bowl begin to update which is really quite nice. You can build a, a pretty interesting scene and you can have shadows uh, playing pretty well. And as I move the light closer, you can see I get a, a more and more of a light spot. 
I also want to say that this bottle is made of glass. And so I can right click, choose a new material for the bottle, and choose a glass texture. And you can see the bottle is now transparent and very glassy appropriately. You can also do things like change the surface roughness. I can give that a 0.4 roughness. And it becomes a little bit less transparent, of course. Finally, I can uh, even give um, some appearances to my plane. And uh, this is where it gets kind of interesting and fun because it really sets the scene a little bit more. I can choose a color for my plane. Let's say I want it to be on kind of a, a brownish color. Um, so there's a lot of cool ways in which I can start to adjust my scene. Uh, I want to actually give a lot more detail into what this scene looks like and, and uh, make it look a little bit more realistic. So let's talk about ways that we can update our textures and lighting in the next video. Um, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and also remember to look at uh, all, visual, all Visuals For You channel. And I'll see you in the next video.